it will all be available on the House of 3000 YouTube uh, after the event. Mm -hmm. But we've got to get into our losers round three. A loser side qualifier, Seiko and Ten Ten coming up. Okay, Ten Ten's actually being serious here. We're seeing the Harangatang. Oh, oh my goodness! Nice <laughs> carry though by Seiko. All right, four four three as well here. Quarang, another character with some amazing oh, cool. sweeping movement, but. It's hard to keep up with the whiff punishment of Dragon Off. As we find the wall, we find the detonate on the wall and are turning this into a mid screen comp. We're still going. <laughs> <laughs> nice wake up here by a 10. Oh no, unfortunately, couldn't get anything going there, but it's okay. Trying to wave a wave. Mix him up. All right. Oh. Keeping a plus frame. Calling out the sidestep. And we're going to go into heat. Yo, this is exactly where Quarang oh got in God. once and said, I have got plus frames for days, and you got to react to all of them. There was power crushes, there was tracking moves, there was everything in between lows, highs, mids, and you got to be sure that you are recognizing them as much as you can because the chip damage is going to come down clutch on top of the... Ooh, nice duck. Oh, my God. These duck and call-outs by both players here. Ooh, but the sidestep saying, no, get out of here. We're going into heat, and we're at the wall. This is really dangerous. Nice break by 10. Oh, but the heat smash call out the uh, attempt to punish. Yo, it, these players are playing so quickly. Goes for the tuck and roll in order to reposition so he gets the corner. But the heat burst is going to fight back for just a moment before the check comes down from Seiko. Nice management of that entire round in order to make sure that you get on the board here. Seiko controlling his space and playing as in frame as much as possible. But when Ten gets in, these lows are unrelenting. Still holding these plus frames, but the bro break is there. <laughs> Okay, Seiko trying to say, get off me here, going in the heat, keeping up plus frames. Nice patience here by Ten. Ten able to put him in the mixed machine into the heat. And we're mixing it up. Nice. Could have went into the heat dash there, but maybe wanted to save the heat there to keep the frames. Oh, Yo, the back nice swing blow. Oh, yeah, that was a nice call out there by Seiko. And we are going to explode the stage to get the relaunch here on the other side into Rage Art. That connected? Yes, I guess. I he thought he was going to do it immediately, but, I don't, uh, you know. I guess from the wall explosion, it, it made him bounce a little more yeah, and, like, kept him in the air a little more for it to connect. Because the it was wall explosion, but I thought that was, like, his fourth uh, tailspin. So, like, he would go too far or, he, he, I, I know, or he's too late. I don't know. He knows. He, he, he knows. Yeah, he, he knows. knows. He, <laughs> he, knows. he <laughs> laughed the situation. Look, he probably laughed the situation, knew what to do, <laughs> and was able to close out with the rage art. But... Ten still can find some here. Nice. Oh, nice call out here by Seiko. Oh, Ooh. we just watched. Okay. Yeah. Recognizing the wall position, they hold the high crush and the low crush. Both players whipping, but the one 2 one heat dash comes in clutch. Again, another clutch duck. Look at how many times Seiko has been doing it. The sidestep duck. Ooh, nice down forward two here by Ten. And this side wall just was, they were playing ping pong. Ten in the yeah. side wall is playing oh, ping explode. pong. Oh my god. But. Nice call out with the rage from Seiko saying, get out of my face, I'm tired of guessing. All right, we'll just have to see if this health is low enough in order to close out the game. Not no, quite even up. Oh my god. The health is back. <laughs> this is a scary situation. Could be anyone's oh. game, but 10 nice dashing in and out, trying to see how Seiko will respond in order to get that whiff punish there. Forward, forward, three. What a button. Oh. <laughs> Run up, tries for the uh, tries for the throw, but the one plus two break is there. Looking for the jab, another sidestep from Seiko. Doing a lot of sidestep and immediate option with something like a duck or a down forward two, but the damage and the checking is still there. Both players now in heat. It's oh. gonna send a full launch and get a full combo here for Ten Ten. He finds the wall. He explodes him with all of this damage, then guarantees yet more plus frames. Oh my God! You were just in a guessing blender there. Unfortunately, Seiko just not being able to find the option to say get off me. Couldn't find the poke. Couldn't find the crouch jab. Nothing there was working. Everything worked out in Ten Ten's favor. That heat dash into. Just explosion, explosion. You yeah. see this? We're not even going to get the full replay. I want to talk about this so much, but we can't because we're going to get yep. into the very next round. Mm -hmm. This game loads so fast. It's like it's on a next generation <laughs> console or something. <laughs> it just might be. It's it good. just might be. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we'll have to take a look at some of the replays after this set as we get to see Ten still on the move here. These waves in order to reposition and set things Ooh. up yet more, but the tracking throw, mm -hmm. generic throws still have some homing on them in this game. Despite okay, the nice. Going to the heat. <laughs> oh, okay. Good break there. All right. 
Seiko has the plus frame here. Nice mix up. No break from Tintin. Unfortunate there. On a sliver of health, will he be able to come back? No. Seiko shutting down the heat activation. Both players refreshing a little bit. Getting, keeping their hands as, war hands as worn as possible. The Skyrocket does miss, allowing for Seiko to regain some control. Oh, and just some fainting as well. Ten feeling like that little bit of hesitation in order to take his turn back is huge in order to shut down a Huang player. If you can make a orangutan stop pressing, <laughs> that's it. Uh, that's I love uh, how the orangutan caught on. Yeah. If you make that, if you make a Huang stop pressing, you are in their head. Yep. <laughs> All right, next round. Seiko up two rounds. Can Tin find the momentum to shift this? And he's finding an opening here. We're at the wall, and we do have Explosions active. Going to use it here for the relaunch. Nice pressure here. Guessing right on every wake-up option Seiko has tried to go for. And keeping the pressure on. Okay, nice jabbing out to get away from all of that. And into heat. Oh, but also activating heat back and saying, nah, I'm going to steal these frames back. The big difference here, of course, Seiko having access to Rage, respecting the, oh. heat for, uh, respecting the heat smash that it would auto-correct as he sidewalked to the right, yet did not able to finish the round despite that. Mm -hmm. Seiko having to respect so much right foot forward into the heat engager from that far away. You know that Huarang has so much, uh, so many powerful ways to initiate, but the punish is there from Seiko despite the uh, despite some of the length of which turn of 10's turns are, the damage is relatively even as Seiko looks to bring us to a game number three. Cool, nice kip up. Yep. Okay, he for the plus friends. Nice delayed hop kick by Tintin, though. Going to try and get to this next wall, and all oh, unfortunately drops it, but we tried to go for the reset. All right, could be anybody's game. Ooh, but 10 getting the counter hit to guarantee that round. Final round. A little bit of deja vu, 1-2-1, one, one, but he missed off the flash dunk. Nice stuff from Seiko as he finds the counter hit slide as well. Not, not Definitely not letting this one slip by the wayside like the previous set did. <gasps> oh my gosh. That miss? <laughs> that was crazy. That's tough. Yeah. Sorry, boss. <laughs> All right, Tim here with the pressure and having heat. Gonna use the heat. Oh, he's back. Oh, that's over. The that's it. That's the advantage. set. That's the yeah. round. That's the game. That's all of the above and more. And we got the Boston boys coming up there congratulating their boy. That's top eight. That is yeah. an elimination for Seiko. Started with top 16 mm -hmm. on winner's side and dropping at ninth place. A fate so tragic. But you know what? Yeah. It's so hard to play around so much of what Hua Rank can do in these plus frame moments. And like, despite going in with a very solid game plan, like you're getting hit here, this is a full combo, and like, yeah, like that's tough. But the game plan for Seiko always was sidestep to either the left or the right, depending on if you have space or if the, uh, depending on if Hua Rang was right foot forward, left foot forward, all that just angle. Recognize the Hua Rang, sidestep, and then pick an option, whether it be offensive or defensive. But Ten got so good at timing his moves around that, that it became incredibly tough for Seiko to gain any sort of momentum. Look at the, it was a tech roll out, look to try and move to backdash to sidestep, and it was plus frames after plus frames, QCF freeze, into heat dash, into more plus frames, into low, and into a second follow-up low after. Just constantly in the blender, constantly tracking, constantly tracing, and you can see on Seiko's face the amount of exhaustion that is uh, getting put onto him, the amount of decisions he's been having to make that are just purely guesses, mm -hmm. wears on you. Yeah. Harangatang is really good at putting you in a guessing blender. I love it. Um, so, so yeah, that's, you know, <laughs> trademarked by me. That's, yeah, by Kiki the way. original. So if y'all do decide to use that, let them know you got it from Kiki. But yeah, Harang is just really good at putting you in a guessing blender and has a lot of really good pressure despite the nerfs that he experienced. Um, and, you know, as you can see there, Ten not being phased by any of those changing changes and able to keep that pressure up to close out that round and get the set. What did he do? He got hit by something. What did he do? <laughs> See, he did it again. He sidestepped again. Oh, no, he backdashed. No, he, he ba backdashed. He backdashed again. He's, yeah. oh, he's trying to step back and, and he's at block, the wall, yeah. but he's at the wall. He's, you do not, for anyone who's not aware, in this, unlike in Tekken 7, when you 
backdash in Tekken 8, it does not count for a block input. So you can get caught during yeah. a backdash while in Tekken 7. If you backdash, as long as you catch holding back, it still counts as a block input. Not in Tekken 8. So this backdash here, oh, hello. Come back out. <laughs> this backdash here, and maybe you're trying to like do a back input as well, try and take your turn back in some manner, but while Rang is never, ever, ever short on plus frames, and the damage comes with it just after. Mm -hmm. um, but ten, yeah, ten you in know, top eight. yeah, ten, ten, ten in top eight. Ten, 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 ten. No. <laughs> <laughs> popping but off, popping off. <laughs> for our next match, it looks like we do. We finally will have 